How's it going, everybody? So I'm back again with another movie review, actually on my birthday, but this time around we're talking about the latest biopic based around Freddie Mercury, Bohemian Rhapsody. So this film was probably one of the ones I was most anticipating for the fall season just because I love Queen's music, I've grown up listening to it, and I love Rami Malek as an actor. I think he's a very great up-and-coming actor. This may be like his breakout performance as far as what he's done so far in his line of work. But not only that, but I mean, I just thought this looked really interesting based on the trailers. Of course, there is some, you know, backlash because Brian Singer was the director for this and he has his own baggage, but he got fired midway through filming this film and they replaced him with Dexter Fletcher, who's actually going to do the biopic for Elton John, Rocket Man. But besides that, you never really know when the film loses its director midway through what's going to happen because you may get a movie like, say, a Justice League where it doesn't really pan out as well as they expected because the director's vision halfway through might get ruined. And Yeah, let's just dive into my thoughts about this film. I always feel one of the more crucial parts of a really good biopic is the actors that you put in those roles to portray the people, whether they look like them, get their mannerisms down, stuff like that. And for the most part, everybody did an accurate enough job portraying the characters that they're supposed to be, you know, like the other members of Queen, they all seem like exactly who they were and all that stuff. And Rami Malek definitely is on like a whole nother level. I think he did a phenomenal job. I mean, his charisma, the look, like there's some, there's so many points in this film where you actually completely forget that he's actually an actor. Like he really feels like he embodies Freddie Mercury. And it's really amazing to see that kind of performance put on screen because I legitimately several times throughout the film forgot, oh yeah, that's actually not Freddie Mercury. He looks so much like him and acts so much like him. You could tell Robbie Malek did a really great job. I honestly would be shocked if he's not at least nominated for awards for this performance. Even, even if the film doesn't do well financially or critically, I feel like he's at least worthy of an Oscar nomination or you know something along those lines because of how just phenomenal he did doing this whole transformation to just look like and act like Freddie Mercury. And it's not just offstage that he does so well. It's also the performances that you see throughout the film of all the different songs and all the different years that they play all these hits that we all know and love. And you see the birth of how all these songs came to be. And that was fairly interesting. Also with them performing and recreating a lot of the performances they do throughout the early years. Because it goes from their very early years all the way up to their Live Aid performance. So you get a lot of bits and pieces of different performances they do of different songs that we all know. And it was really entertaining. I really loved all the performances throughout. There wasn't really one that I thought was bad at all. They all none of them stuck out. They all felt really, really mesmerizing. I felt like I was actually there watching this concert. You know, obviously I'm enjoying these songs because I've grown up with them my whole life. But also just seeing how some of these weird, wacky songs were made and the stuff they had to go through to get songs like Bohemian Rhapsody to actually become a hit that it is today. Because some people didn't have a lot of faith in it. Like the record producer that's played by Mike Myers, of all people... I don't know why he was in this film, but he was really unrecognizable. Like, I just knew he was in the film and I recognized him, but I don't think a lot of people are. Now, I did say we go through a lot of years, you know, from the beginning all the way up to Live Aid, so that's a very fair amount of years, but a lot of the story, it felt like it was fast-paced and it left me wanting more because, I mean, it's supposed to be a biopic. I felt like they should have delved more into certain topics, but I feel like they really only scratched the surface on a fair amount of them just to keep the story going in a certain path. And the story still was interesting, but I feel like it would have packed a bigger punch if they touched on a little bit more or went a little bit deeper but they didn't it was very surface level kind of playing it safe a little bit but I still enjoyed the story touching on the performances again I have to say the last 15 and 20 minutes of this film dedicated to Queen's Live Aid performance I really enjoyed that like it gave me goosebumps sometime how well it was recreated I mean of course they had to use some CGI to get it as accurate as they could but with what they did, I thought it was really amazing, actually. I mean, this performance is not only from the band itself. Rami Malek just steals the show playing Freddie Mercury. I mean, he looks and sounds and acts just like him. But just the crowd environment, I felt like I was really there. I really enjoyed that performance. It gave me goosebumps, actually, at some point, just how amazing I felt watching it. And, it kept, you know, the music came to life. And little, little tidbits where they cut back and show different characters. It was just the culmination of everything you watch for the last two hours done perfectly. And I really enjoyed that as the last moment. Even though I did want more, I wanted him to go more, you know, because he did survive for a couple years after that. But I figured they it's good that they ended on a high note. It wasn't like a sad ending. But still, that performance is some of the best music I've seen on screen in a long time. Although, A Star is Born probably has the better musical moments overall out of a film this year. This is easily second place and probably some of the best stuff I've seen in music, relate, you know, in film in a long time. Overall, though, I definitely recommend you check out Bohemian Rhapsody when it comes out. It's a fun ride, especially if you love Queen and Freddie Mercury. You're going to have a blast watching this. Just Robbie Malik's performance is so amazing that you can look past any sort of little negatives that there are with the screenplay. Just because they don't, they don't delve too deep into certain issues that you think that they would with a biopic. 
it, like, it kind of plays it safe, but it keeps your interest and you love everything about it. either way. So it's still a fun, entertaining watch. So definitely check this out when it comes out. I believe it comes out November 2nd in the U.S. I think it comes out the 24th of October tomorrow in the U.K., but the U.S. comes out November 2nd. But thank you so much for checking out my little review for Bohemian Rhapsody. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the film when you check it out. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the review, feel free to leave a like, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my movie reviews, trailer reactions, unboxings, Blu-ray hauls, and more. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.